Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Nisha for those who are tuning in for the very first time. Hey, and for those who already been here, y'all already know what's up. What it do, baby boo? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing finally a new makeup talk release video. I've been trying to do this video for the longest, but I felt like the timing was just not how can I explain this? It just was not right for me at the moment of me trying to film this. So I miss, I don't know the last time I did one of these, but I'm going to try to come back every week. If I don't come back every week, I'm really going to try to put my foot down and at least come back every two weeks to give you guys some new makeup talk because makeup has been hot lately. You know, spring is here and summertime releases are out right now, are coming. And it's just been really an exciting little news flash for all the makeup. So I'm going to briefly tell you guys what's been new and talk about what's coming as well. So let's go ahead and scoot over to the side because we're going we're gonna to put them right over here. And we're going to talk briefly about these items. Now usually I have like my notes and everything down on what I'm going to talk about. But I felt like if I was going to do that, I was going to push myself and procrastinate again because that was like one of the reasons why I was been slowing me down. I'm like, okay, I'm going to put down aside what I'm going to talk about. We're just going to go with the flow. I have this thing on my freaking um, Instagram of all the things that's been new released, saved it in a uh, special playlist. So I'm just going to go through the playlist and we're going to talk about them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and click on the first one. Hold on. My, oh my God. I didn't pick the, t why is my phone about to die? why is my phone about to die oh my gosh i am i am not prepared for this so i have to let my phone charge for a little bit because i was not prepared for this <laughs> okay we're, we're good now i had to charge my phone i was like i just need a good like five minutes of a charge and we good i was at two percent i'm at 27 percent within five minutes that's a wonderful charger all right so i'm not going in no particular order like i said i'm just going off of what i saved on my instagram account for new makeup talk so first off I think these are new because I had to click on the website last night because I seen these. I was like, wait, are these new um, Anastasia Palace? And then I looked at the actual person who was posting this. These are going to be the new Revolution palette. So when I clicked on the actual um, website, they're coming out with four different style of palettes like this. And I want to say this might be the first time I think I've seen Revolution come out with a style of palette like this. I love these style of palettes. I don't know what it is. I just love them. Sigma is a classic to this. Anastasia is a classic to this. I don't know. Just something about this layout of a palette i just i love it so this one in particular though that neutral one is definitely giving me anastasia soft glam vibes but if i look at the picture because i didn't even read the details of it it's that it's like two outer shades um on the palette like that really really dark brown and then a shade above it they're coming off like a creamy formula like either they're going to be like a liquid um liner or some type of like a creamy base whatever but they're not eyeshadows for sure i can definitely see that it's not it's too creamy too like glossy look so i'm curious because that was the only palette i think i noticed wait nope no i'm looking at the rest of them no so they all have that have that little too glossy feel to it let me read more hold on yeah so this is the newest breakthrough in shadow um these are the icon palettes filled with intense cream at shimmer pigments with 12 compact pans so it doesn't classify which those random ones were okay i think i'm definitely going to get at least like one or two of them because like i said i like these style of palettes and i'm curious to see what the heck is those formulas are because it's not mad it gotta be something else filled with intense cream moving along p louise have been coming out with a lot of new things y'all know i'm kind of like more like into p louise now that i've been getting their monthly subscription budget box so yeah so let's talk about them there i felt like no one was talking about them for a while and now they're coming out with like new things not just palette but like overall just a lot of like makeup items in general so first one these are going to be the new it's called introducing the love letter these are envelope experience into creamy dreamy skin i'm assuming these are going to be face brush palettes yes so um there's a contour one and it looks like a blush one they're creamy formula i like what i'm seeing right now i'm definitely going to pick out um probably two i want that deep pink one and of course the deep bronzer one for contouring p louise in general is a really good hands-on brand for that because they offer so many varieties of like um 
makeup influencer type of makeup artist kits like really really good so speaking of P. Louise we're not done talking about them they also came out with these cream individual bronzers I definitely want to try one I really do what I'm hoping is that they put one of these in one of the monthly um, budget boxes even the cream new things that came out the blush the bronzers I'm hoping because I'm crossing my finger just waiting patiently for them to pop one of those into the budget box and I'm sorry if my lighting I feel like I'm looking a little yellow washed out I think it's because the angle where I'm sitting at and then my lighting so I apologize if I look a little bit yellowish <laughs> but we're gonna move on um Instagram is doing something weird on my phone I probably should have screenshot these pictures but I think they're having some kind of issues because either there's my phone but it's not loading up the pictures but I'm gonna try to read the details it just keeps saying loading loading so elf has came out with a couple of new things so this one right here this is the elf soft glam satin foundation I am definitely going to try this out I am definitely going to try this out I'm here for it this is going to retail for eight dollars so this is going to be a medium buildable coverage foundation with a satin finish breathable formula that doesn't look or feel cakey infused with one percent hydrating oh, hibuccus hibuccus I, I have a hard time saying this word hibuccus <laughs> complex plus a pomegranate blueberry and gold berry abstracts in it okay so this is going to be available in 36 shades so i i'm feel happy for the amount of shade ranges they're going to come in so i am definitely going to try this i'm hoping this comes to ulta because that's when i'm going to grab it i like to use my points in my discount so please ulta catch this real quick okay and then speaking of elf elf is also coming out with these new I already seen them at work the sun boss gloss spf 25 glosses these are going to retail for seven dollars i love the fact that these products i know elf is like uh an expense type of product but sometimes they can raise up the price a little bit on certain items so i love the fact that they're keeping their price points still low i really do appreciate that so these glosses I'm definitely here for it says SPF 25 is in it with a high shine finish buildable color and a tropical coconut scent oh wow that's gonna be yummy so I'm probably gonna grab about a good like two or three of these and y'all know I'm probably gonna most likely grab the nude shade so um yeah I'm, I'm excited for this and like I said these are already available at Ota so check your local Ota store or even the actual Ota website next we have since we're talking about glosses let's talk about Colourpop Colourpop is dropping new shades for the um so juicy I personally have not tried these yet but I've heard a lot of positive things about these and pretty much how they're like probably like the best dupes to the tart juicy ones so like I said they're coming in more shades so I, I, I might try them because I like the shades that they're coming out with although I don't usually go for like a pink or orange but I've been trying to like get out of my little comfort zone so I think I might try a couple of these let me know if you guys would like to see that and I will definitely do that next is Miss Yolando yes so Makeup by Yolanda is coming out. I was so patiently waiting for this. I knew it was coming. She is coming out with the liquid blush. It's going to be available in six different shades. And this is going to be available now as we speak. Yes, it's available now. Um, it's going to retail. Let me see what's the retail price for these. Y'all know we like Yolanda over here. We love Yolanda over here. This is the So it's going to be available now. But the time frame is at nighttime today. So... Um, she doesn't have it up on her website and she also doesn't have full details on the price points So I will make sure I have everything updated inside the description box on how much they're gonna be But y'all know I'm gonna pick up a couple of them because she already did a swatch of them I'll Hopefully Instagram be working by now, but I'll insert the video She did a swatch of these and just the pigmentation I feel like Yolando never disappoints with the quality if you guys have not tried anything from makeup by Yolando like the quality gives what it's supposed to be giving every single time down to her palettes the mattes the metallics and now these liquid blushes definitely here for it i feel like it's okay this is definitely gloss and blush season right now juvia's place is coming out with i want to say new shades these are going to be the non-sticky luxuries high shine lip glosses these are going to retail for 14 dollars and i believe these are available in four different shades and they're all as you guys can see pink should I dare get one? I want to say I low-key have one of these already. I feel like I do because they were at Ulta for a while before the updates got announced on the actual like website. But I think these are already at Ulta if I'm not mistaken. And I think I did pick these up. 
I want to say I picked up like the purpley shades. So yeah, I think I did. So if I didn't, I'm definitely going to pick up at least one or two of these shades because they're not my comfort shades. But I do want to take advantage and try some of these out. I told you this is definitely gloss and blush season right now with a little bit of palette splash. Next, we got the Morphe Cream Blushes. I did already pick up a couple of these. And if you guys follow me also on TikTok, I did a full on swatch of them because they had just released them that day at me being at work. So nobody touched them. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to put my imprint in these really quick and get a real first impression swatch of them. And they felt so creamy and hydrating. I am very concerned to see how they're going to actually look on my cheeks, especially for someone who is oily combo. But for the pigmentation that it gave y'all, I was really impressed. I was like, okay, wow, like this is really pigmented. So I did end up picking up two of them. I'm debating if I do like them. I might pick up one more because I swatched three and I don't know why I didn't pick up all of the three that I swatched. But yeah, so I picked up two. I picked up a light shade and a deeper shade just to show you guys the different payoff with different, you know, um, the different shade ranges. So be on the lookout for that. I will be probably doing those like next week, like trying them out and everything. Speaking of new blushes. <laughs> Fenty came out with a nice beautiful summer collection. So with the summer collection this is going to include two of the glitter eyeliners, three of the glitter lip oils. Yes, they're glitter in them. Yes, they're they're absolutely beautiful. And then also three available shades for her new press blushes. And these press blushes, I thought they were going to be matte. I don't know why I thought they were going to be matte, but I assumed they were going to be matte. But seeing them in person, it definitely is going to give off this um, highlighter vibe. So kind of like what uh, Rare Beauty came out with. I feel like that might be a new thing with the blushes. Because I know Jivia came out with the liquid version of these highlighted blushes. I did buy those and yet to try them. So I did buy one of the actual blushes and two of the lip oils from Fenty though. So we're going to be having some glowy cheeks and I think I might actually like them because I do like to highlight my face so I'm curious to see how this is going to actually work but I'm also nervous at the same time all right next we have from hard candy these are the ready sunset and go stay flush this summer with our new face off blurring blushes and I believe these are going to be available in three different shades um, it doesn't give you the retail price point, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be very affordable because Hard Candy is definitely a drugstore brand and the prices is amazing when it comes to Hard Candy. So I would definitely have more information about this down in the description box, but from the looks of it, it looks really, really pretty. Oh, I thought I was done talking about Elf, but I guess not. So Elf is coming out with the Lock Down Your Eye look with a new lockdown eyeshadow primer it is available now i did not see this at ota yet but when it comes to ota i'm definitely going to buy this because i remember when i first was doing like makeup elf was my go-to primer um they had like three different like formulas like a matte one a shimmer one and then i forgot what the other one was maybe like it was like hydrating and then they discontinued it like it just disappeared and i was like wait what happened to that elf primer because i really did like it so now that they're coming out with this again this is kind of giving me the vibes of the actual eyeliner that i use right now um which is the about face it, yeah so it kind of gives me the vibes of the about face um eyeshadow primer that i use and i really really like this i forgot to give you guys an update on this i think i tried it out I don't know what makeup tutorial I used this on for the first time, but it was like a couple of weeks back and I haven't touched my other eyeshadow primer that you guys know that I use quite often and that is the Milani. Like if I had to choose between the two, I feel like the About Face, she kind of locks in the non-creasing style of um, primer and it also holds and grab on whatever you put on top. So. When I'm doing like my cut creases, like it's really hard for me to clean off my eyelid because I feel like this primer grips really good and I just love it. So I'm so glad that I took full advantage of this when this was on sale for the um, Ulta sale. So hopefully when they do their fall edition, if they come back on sale, I'm definitely going to pick up a couple more just to have on, um, on back stock because I feel like I've been using it quite often and I might run out soon. But yeah so if elf is giving kind of like the vibes that this one gives then i'm definitely going to be checking this out okay another brand that i want to talk about this is called bella beauty bar i have yet to try this brand this is more like an indie brand and i've been really eyeing and checking this brand i think i mentioned a couple of new things from this brand on my past new release talk but 
this brand has been really 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 grabbing my attention so there's a couple things that this brand have came out with this month um, last month for the month of may so i definitely want to talk about them because i feel like i haven't did a new makeup talk in a while so i gotta talk about them because i think i might get my hands on these items so first off they dropped two palettes um it's this one right here it's this colorful one i'm trying to figure out the name of it it's called secret garden so this is the secret garden palette i believe this came out either in may or april i know it was very recent and i've been looking at this brand because of this particular palette i really want to get my hands on this palette my only thing about this brand i know especially i'm not i'm learning especially with indie brands I feel like their price point for their palettes are way up there and I think it's because they're adding you know all these different ingredients and you know multi chrome dual chromes in there which is going to definitely raise up the price when it comes to your palette but I also think it's because they're indie brands they have to do a little bit more um, pricing when it comes to shipping out the products so they definitely have to raise up the prices when it comes to the palettes I think just the, the whole price point of making their palettes like they don't have the full-on um like the connection of like of having your products at Ulta or something like that so I don't know I just I feel like the any brands palettes that I've been checking lately they've just been really out there I mean used to like the Ulta price point when it comes to the palettes but I guess if these brands were at Ulta or something like that then this is probably what the price point would um they would be um, so this particular palette right here, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to click on the website. I believe this retails for $69 or $79. Yeah, I'm sorry. $75 for this makeup palette. I am so tempted to get this, but I keep telling myself because I told myself this year and I told you guys that I haven't been buying things unless it's a really exciting thing or most likely if it's on sale. And I think I've been doing really good so I've been buying things that's on sale. So... I'm just waiting for this brand to have a nice steal of a sale and I'm praying that this palette is not limited edition I'm hoping it's not um, so this is why I'm kind of like going back and forth with me debating on getting it because I think this might be a limited edition I'm not quite sure it doesn't say it on the actual website though but I don't know I'm really debating on getting this palette y'all let me know should I get this or not <laughs> They have another palette. This one is called the Smoky Glam and this is now um, available to purchase. This one has something special about this palette. I love the fact like it's kind of like a way that this palette is going. You see some very deep neutrals in here. Then you see a variety of like grays and then I got berries and then this pinks. Like I feel like this color story I don't have in a palette. I'll probably have it in a mixture of different palettes, but just having this color story alone, I don't have this in my collection. And I really, really want this palette. It's like really grabbing my attention. And this palette is going to retail for $69, yes. So like I said, Bella Beauty, their palettes are a little bit pricey, but from what I've seen so far, like the quality is amazing. and. I don't mind paying a little bit some 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 you know when it comes to a particular products or a brand especially if the quality gives I just haven't personally tried anything personally from this brand myself um, so I y'all know I'm always honest with you guys and you guys are honest with me as well so if you guys have tried this brand or want me to try this brand let me know down in the comment section but I'm like really on the edge of my seat to get something from this brand speaking of indie brands i want to talk about a couple of other indie brands that i've been definitely eyeing and as a matter of fact i have in my notebook i have like a kind of like a list of brands that i want to try for this year and i'm just waiting for that palette to come out or even like to catch like a good you know sale whatever with these brands because i really really have been liking what they have been throwing out so here is another brand so this one is called unearthly cosmetics this palette right here oh my god i am on the edge of my seat to get this one as well the color story is so pretty the greens the blues the pinks and then the splash of like neutrals in there like i i really want to get this palette y'all and then they also came out with a blush palette y'all know i'm a blush junkie look at my cheeks okay i'm a blush junkie so i really want to see what this brand gives so i've been really eyeing this whole palette this whole collection in general and not only have they been dropping this 
let me show you why this also had been on my radar to try not only this collection but this is what they recently just dropped as well so this is their most recent one tell me i don't need this y'all please tell me i don't need this i'm 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 on the edge of my seat the color story that is a summer freaking palette the oranges the yellows the reds in there oh my gosh and then the swatch let me see if i can find that swatch i think i saved it they are looking so buttery so creamy so pigmented like i'm really really on the edge of my seat to get this palette if you guys have not tried anything from this brand or have let me know if you guys think i should try this out in this um so interested in this brand and i feel like they came out with another palette too that i'm i'm missing i'm trying to look let me look on the actual instagram okay so no those are the two recent palettes that they came out that i've been eyeing so yeah let me know if y'all want me to try this brand out okay and their price point is pretty pricey as well i don't feel like clicking on the links right now like i said instagram is being a little weird with me right now speaking of another indie brand this is from the brand of depth cosmetics i think i'm saying that brand correct i don't know but this palette right here and it came with a blush duo as well i think it's a blush duo it's like a yeah it's like a blush and highlighter and mixture tell me i don't need this palette y'all please tell me i don't need this palette because i think i need this palette uh one thing that's kind of like kind of had me like kind of like going back and forth with it i see a lot of shimmers in here which i'm not disappointed with but they look kind of similar like i see a lot of white silver shimmers in this palette now they might be like dual chrome style of eyeshadow but from me it looks like it's the same amount of shimmers and it kind of gives me like the nightmare version of the natasha denona palette yeah i know what i'm talking about yeah i need a new palette i felt like those shades in there everything was just looking um uh, one tone when it came to my complexion although like the palette you can see there's different colors in there but for someone like me with a deeper warm complexion well i'm more like a, i'm more of a deeper neutral complexion i like warmer shades i just felt like that palette in particular just didn't work for me and i want to get this palette i love the fact that there's silvers in here neutrals and then there's random pops of blues and right there and i'm just really thinking i'm going to get this palette but this brand again has been dropping new palettes like it ain't nothing this is another more recent one that they dropped and i i think i'm not going to get this one because it's too many shimmers in here for me but i like the color story though i don't know y'all i'm just this one look just look at it don't it look cute can you see me doing some looks with this palette I don't know, but I feel like they have been doing a really good job to these like new makeup drops. Like they're not playing at all. And here's another brand that I've never heard of, but I follow this Instagram account and she does an amazing job with these palettes. And I keep telling myself that I need to unfollow her because I want to buy everything that she posts. But this is from a brand called Mica Beauty Shop, if I'm not mistaken. Mika or Mica Beauty Shop. This is one of their newest palette releases. And I want to say it's more of a newer brand because they don't have that many followers. But it's definitely an indie brand based in France. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> I want this palette, you guys. The color story is so pretty. I love the nice, deep, neutral brown shades in here. And then the pop of like green and purple and that mustard looking yellow green shade. Like I think I am going to get this palette. Like it's definitely grabbing my attention. I feel like the indie brands really got like the palettes in a chokehold like they're the ones who's been doing their thing when it comes to the palettes like i feel like i haven't checked for a palette at a drugstore in a long time because i feel like these indie brands are doing what i want these drugstores and you know ultra brands to do because that's that's what we're looking for like i feel like makeup is definitely coming back so we want makeup y'all brands listen we want makeup we want the fun colorful eyeshadows like we've done Y'all done did all the neutral palettes. Like, we want more fun, colorful eyeshadow palettes, especially if you're a brand that hasn't done it. Like, you'll be surprised who will buy it. Like, it would actually probably bring more um, clients, customers towards your way because you did something new. I'm just saying. Um, and speaking of brand, let me quickly talk about Natasha Denona since I mentioned her earlier. So, Natasha Denona is coming out with this new palette. I think this is called the Goading Something. Um, yeah. 
I was like, oh, okay, this might be the actual palette I really want to get because I just want a nice neutral palette from her that I want to try that's going to complement the Chocolate Girls. I was really telling myself this is definitely going to be the palette. The pictures is giving, but, but I think, I'm not going to throw any shade, but let me explain. When it comes to brands, um, when they Photoshop their actual products, Lighting is such an important thing <clears throat> and I don't know what editing or lighting Natasha used but I feel like she does an amazing job showing what she wants y'all to see like what she wants us to see but when it comes to you actually buying it it's like the colors are not giving what the picture is giving and I feel like that's kind of like malicious in a sense because I'm like I want to see and get what this picture shows you know I feel like she's kind of like those food advertisements you know how you see like the food advertisement they show you like the best burger and everything how it's so thick and big and then when you actually order it, it's like it's like one meat patty and one lettuce it's like my burger don't look like that picture so that's how I feel with her palettes I feel like my palettes don't look like her pictures and this one I was like yeah I'm definitely gonna get it but I was like wait wait a minute i know she got a pattern i said let me wait and start seeing other people using her actual palace like the people who's on the pr team and stuff like that so i've seen it and i've seen the complexions that's using this palette <clears throat> and i'm also noticing by them showing the palette the picture don't match the palette that's all i'm gonna say the picture is not matching the palette I can be totally wrong because like I said lighting plays a very important part so I can be wrong it can actually be deeper if I see it in person but I don't think I'm going to take that chance and buy it because I I, I don't want to take that chance again I, I don't I feel like if the palette is what the picture really shows then yes then I will get the palette and it's going to be a cute beautiful neutral palette but I just feel like those deep three deep shades of brown she have in that palette from what I've seen correct me if I'm wrong you guys from from what I've seen it didn't look that deep i felt like it was given the same almost kind of same neutral browns that was in the i need a new palette and those did not work for my complexion that's all i'm saying i like i don't want to spend this kind of i don't want to spend this kind of money on a palette or anything and it's not catered to all complexions and i feel like i thought she caught the memo with the i need a nude i thought she caught the memo when she did that that dark um black and silver palette like i don't know i just feel like the hype that people were hyping about natasha denona in the beginning when i was not paying attention to this brand and i feel like the moment i decided like hey let me go ahead and try this brand it's not giving what she used to put out in the beginning of her makeup career i think from my opinion because it's like i don't know i'm like i'm i've been eyeing the older palettes that still been you know on her website that i think i might end up just buying because these newer ones i don't know i just feel like they're just not grabbing my attention the way i wanted it to be like i thought that i didn't knew was going to be the topper but now since i've experienced that and tried it i'm like this with her palettes now i'm like mm, is she gonna show for the deeper complexion <laughs> you know so I don't know I have a kind of back and forth motion with this I feel like it might be a no for me because I just have a feeling that it's not going to be the deep shades that I want in my palette and I forgot to mention with the Morphe liquid blushes I forgot this was all a whole thing they also came out with some more liquid lip glosses you know the drip glass one beautiful and I like the shade range that they came out with they came out with like more pinky orangey peachy colors i did pick up i think three of them already along with the blushes y'all will see that haul soon so i just want to briefly talk about that as well so that is also going to be available with the actual blushes and then this is what i'm just now seeing i didn't even realize it but they also came out with an actual palette y'all know i like morphe palettes i know probably some of y'all are not like here for morphe anymore because of their downfall whatever but i have to give credit when credit is needed like i really love their palettes i love the price point of the palettes and i love what they do put out for the color story some shades and some palettes i know may look similar but they're not identical to what you think might be similar if that makes sense and i already told you guys this now i'll say this again especially if someone who's tuning in for the first time when it comes to palettes even if i might because i'll be honest i'm sure i have duplicates of eyeshadows all in my collection 
but when it comes to my palettes i'm not shopping for individual eyeshadows i shop for that actual palette color story because y'all know when i use a palette i like to challenge myself and only use that palette to see any different looks i can come up with and create and i feel like that's the whole key when it comes to palettes i think that's what brands want you to do as well i mean of course you can mix and match your palettes with different palettes but when it comes to an actual palette in that color story i think ideally they're thinking like hey what are these people going to do with this color story how many looks and how creative can they looks be with this color story so if morphe is coming out with same similar color stories but not identical shades if that makes sense it's a different color story to me and this is why i feel like i always buy their palettes so this one yes i'm sure morphe is definitely known for having so many different neutral palettes i think i honestly own almost all of them to be honest but they're different they're different because i'm using that palette alone and i'm getting different looks different metallics different mattes so i say this to say this i'm going to get this palette i know for sure i'm going to get this palette i love the shade range that's in here i'm definitely going to get this freaking palette no doubt and this is from a brand that i haven't heard from from a while you guys but um yeah this is from the brand alamar cosmetics i think i'm pronouncing it correct i have a couple of their eyeshadow palettes which is crazy because i pulled out one of their palettes in particular y'all see probably next week because i'm kind of like scheming what i want to pick out for next week shop my stash but i pulled out one of their palettes and i'm happy to see that they're actually still doing makeup so this right here i'm so here for it this is going to be a trio face palette so you have your contour bronzing you have your blush and you have your highlighters and i like the fact that they're trying to ideal it from um skin complexion so there's a light medium and then a deeper one y'all know i'm here for the deep one i honestly feel like i might still get the medium one because i want that orange <laughs> because i want that orange blush y'all know pink and orange blushes are my favorite i don't care how many i have in my collection if it's from different brands i love trying different blushes and this is definitely going to be one that i want to try this is already available right now and it doesn't classify it doesn't give details on the price point but just know that these three trio face palettes are going to be absolutely amazing like wow i'm so here for it and in this little arm swatch that they're doing let me see what else this brand have came out with because i feel like honestly i have not heard anything from this brand for quite some time now so it looks like they have been dropping a couple of new things okay oh it's when did this palette come out oh okay i'm gonna have to follow this brand because it's been a cool minute um yeah so i think that's all that i want to talk about for now i don't want to make this video long because i really have a hard time editing this video because it takes so long for me to edit this video to improv the pictures and stuff like that so i'm gonna leave it here <laughs> with what we talked about and like i said I'm most likely try to come back every week if not every two weeks so that way i won't have so much to talk about and only be able to pick a little bit at a time to talk about because i don't want to make these videos too long but i will make sure everything that i mention and talk about i will make sure that it's listed down at the bottom so be sure to check out the description box for more details of price point release dates if they have not been released yet and where to get these items at so check out the description box <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's video leave me a comment down at the bottom let me know what are some things that you guys are kind of interested in talking about and if there's something that i forgot to talk about let me know down in the comments as well and i'll be sure to bring that back for next week's new makeup release talk but on that note you guys have a beautiful day stay blessed stay amazing and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video bye guys